Hi guys, this is the Java series part 74. Now let's discuss about how to copy and paste the content from one file to another file. Okay, we have already discussed about the file input stream and file output stream. What is the usage of file input stream? File input stream is used to for reading byte oriented data from a file. Am I correct? And what is the usage of file output stream? File output stream is used for writing data to your file. Okay. I repeat it again. File input stream is used for reading byte oriented data from a file. File output stream is used for writing data to your file. Okay. So I have imported file input stream and file output stream and um, inbuilt exception class input output exception. Okay. These all belongs to the java.io package. I have created the class. Class name is copa. Okay. And inside this class, I have created the main method. Here I have used the throws keyword. Did you remember the throws keyword? Yes. Throws keyword indicates what exception type may be thrown by a method. Okay. So what is the usage of throws keyword? I repeat it again. The throws keyword indicates what exception type may be thrown by this main method. Okay. And inside this main method, I have created the objects for file input stream and file output stream. Okay. Source stream. This is my object name for this class. This is the parameterized constructor for this file input stream. Now, I want to read the content from ABC text to file and I want to paste that content into this AB text to file. Both are inside the D drive. Okay. And I have created the target stream for file output stream. This is the class name. This is the object name. Whatever you want to give. Okay. And this is the parameterized constructor for this class file output stream okay i have given the path of the file up to this clear okay here i have created the variable temp its data type is integer okay and i have implemented the while loop okay and here i have given minus one okay what is the meaning of this minus one minus one is equivalent to the end of the file. Okay, actually I want to read the content from this ABC. Okay, so minus 1 is equivalent to the end of the file of this ABC text to file because I want to read the content from this file only. Isn't it? Here I have used the file input stream for this file only. Got it? Okay, here first I have to read. Okay, so what I will do? I have to use the read inbuilt method that is present inside the file input stream inbuilt class which is present inside the java.io package. Okay. Here, this read method is used to read the byte value from the ABC. Okay. The first byte will be read using this inbuilt method which is present inside the file input stream that's why i have used the object for this class so stream for this class here i have given the source stream dot operator read inbuilt method okay that value will be stored inside this temp variable okay and if the value is not equal to minus one there is not equal to the end of the file only the control comes inside the while loop Okay, and here I have used the write inbuilt method which is present inside the file output stream. That's why I have used the object for this file output stream, target stream here. Okay, and this write method is used to write the temp value. First we have to typecast. Okay, here the integer value will be converted into byte then only we can write that byte value into the target stream that is what is our target stream this is our target 
isn't it? AB text file is our target. So, the first letter from ABC will be pasted into this AB text file. Up to this clear? And then the control again jumps from the 18th line to the 15th line. Again, the second letter from the source will be read and that value will be stored inside the temp and if the temp value is not equal to minus 1, that is not equal to end of file only, the control comes inside the while loop and that value will be converted into byte and the converted byte value will be stored inside the target stream, that is our AB text to file. Okay, this process is going on till the end of the file is reached. When the value of temp equal to minus 1, that is the end of the file, then the while loop will be terminated. At the time, the content from ABC will be pasted into this AB text file. All the content from ABC will be stored inside the AB text file. Is it clear? If this process is completed, we will get this success message on our console. After that, we have to close the source stream, that is the file input stream object and then the target stream, that is the file output stream object in order to avoid the corruption of these files. Got it? So, these close methods are present inside the file input stream and file output stream respectively. Got it? So now, let me execute this one. Here I got success. We open the ABC text file. So this is our ABC text file. Here I have God is always with us. Isn't it? Now, I open the AB text file. This is also present inside the D drive. So the content from ABC is copied and stored inside the AB text file using the file input stream class and file output stream class. Got it. Now I change the content of ABC. God is great. Okay. I save this file. Okay. But here we have only the old content. Okay. Now again I execute the same program. Okay. Now inside the ABC what we have? We have this content only. God is great. Okay. But here we have God is always with us. After executing this one, we will get what? The same content from ABC. Isn't it? So, now I execute the same program again. Now I got the success. This is our output. So, you go and check AB text. Now, this content is changed. Because inside the ABC, now we have God is great. That Content only is printed here. God is great. Okay. I hope you all understood about how to copy the content from one file to the another file using the file input stream class and file output stream class. Both are present inside the java.io package. Okay. We have completed this session. If you have any doubts, drop the message on the comment section. If this video is useful to you, like and share. For more videos, subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon, then only you will get the notification for my new updates. Have a nice day. Thank you.